can open up a, a Max patch that um, can actually generate sounds. So what we're listening to before was a Max patch that was talking MIDI to a MIDI uh, tone generator. Mm -hmm. But now we can actually make sound. Now, admittedly, this sound isn't going to be very interesting, but um, you have to understand uh, the level of complexity to even do this is uh, significant. Okay, so this is just a little basic signal processing patch that just does audio oscillation. And it has, has all the max components in it, except now you can actually generate sound. And that makes uh, Max MSP a very, very powerful tool because, of course, you can do synthesis on this platform, you can do MIDI on this platform, you can take control signals in and out. Uh, actually, I'm working now with a little circuit card where you can actually control mechanical things like servos and motors from Max. And uh, as a programming language, it's become very, very sophisticated and has become, uh, to some degree, kind of a de facto standard of uh, synthesis. A lot of institutions are teaching Max, and uh, as, as am I, and um, the students have the opportunity to, you know, learn a great deal from it. So what are we looking at right now? Oh, this is just something from one of their tutorials that um, is uh, uh, set up to control a comb filter. And um, it just has a, a just sort of an automated um, process that's taking a pulse wave and uh, filtering it at a variety of different frequencies. But you, I mean, you have to maybe for for people just coming into this now, this doesn't seem like a big deal. But if you've grown up with this stuff, the the ability to do this at home. Is, is just monumental. I mean, it's just amazing. I mean, at MIT in the early 80s, I would have to wait eight hours to do a, a digital to analog conversion mm -hmm. to be able to hear the work I'm doing. And now I can do it in real time. And I can do real time uh, processing. So a patch, not unlike this, except much more complicated, I've used, I have a work called Tefila which is for clarinet and live signal processing. And all the signal processing is done in real time in Max using a series of patches designed for that. This is a, something from the tutorial. It's just an additive synthesis patch. Mm -hmm. And what we have here are six operators set up in parallel. An operator is a, a, a sine tone oscillator and an envelope generator. The envelope generator is controlling the amplitude of that sine tone, and there are six of them, all set up, mixed together. And if you look, you will see that there are six little boxes called partials, and if we double-click on one of them, you will see the patch that's inside that box. So it's a patch inside the patch. Okay, okay and this patch inside the patch has all the components necessary to generate a sine tone. This object called the cycle object is actually the program that generates the sine tone. And then the rest of these are um, little individual objects that uh, manipulate the amplitude and then are connected to the digital to analog converter. And there are six of them. And we determine frequency as a ratio of the frequency setting of the very, very first one. I can do something like this. and change the attack characteristics of this. First of all, uh, yeah, that's right. Let's change the attack characteristics of um, the fundamental, meaning we've created now a harmonic whose multiplier is one. So it's the fundamental of this complex sound. Okay, so go ahead. Okay, so now we're generating a set of partials that are for the most part even numbers. And what we get is something that sort of sounds like an organ. You hear more than one octave. I'm not sure how to describe this sound, but you'll notice it has a very, very sharp attack and that it has partials that are uh, not just integer values, but are a little manipulated from integer values. So for instance, instead of this being a multiple number five, it's actually 4.98. 
and that gives a little bit of character to the sound. I guess this is an attempt to sound something like a clarinet. It has a, a very prominent third partial, which would be typical of a, a clarinet, uh, mostly odd numbered. I guess they're all odd numbered, and that would be correct. And of course, if we manipulate the characteristics here. This one's kind of interesting because what we have are all six operators have a frequency somewhere around one. So the ratios are 1, 1.01, 1.02, 1.04, 1.05, 1.06, 1.07, 1.08, 1.09, 1.10, 1.11, 1.12, 1.13, 1.14, 1.15, 1.16, 1.17, 1.18, 1.19, 1.20, 1.21, 